Both sodium metal and chlorine gas are starting materials to make all kinds of products. Neither occurs naturally, but there's a ready source, common salt. There's a problem though. Chlorine is a powerful oxidant and sodium metal is a powerful reductant. So if you could find a way to convert them from the sodium and chlorine ions in salt water, you'd have to somehow keep them well apart. A way to do this was figured out by an American chemical engineer called Jakes Cloyd Downs in the 1920s. The cell he devised produces sodium and chlorine but keeps them apart with a simple but effective iron mesh screen. The Downs cell has a central carbon anode and a cylindrical iron cathode. Neither electrode takes part in the reaction. Solid sodium chloride is a poor conductor, so it's heated to melt it. The electrolyte is actually a mixture of molten sodium chloride and calcium chloride. The calcium chloride plays no part in the reaction. It's there because it lowers the temperature needed to keep the electrolyte molten. At the anode surface, the power supply pulls electrons from chloride ions, which form molecules of chlorine. Here's the half equation. At the cathode, electrons from the power supply are forced onto the most reactive cations, the sodium ions. Here's the half equation for the reduction of sodium ions to liquid sodium metal. The iron mesh screen allows sodium and chloride ions to pass through it, but keeps the products apart. Since the liquid sodium is less dense than the electrolyte, the sodium floats up into a hooded structure as the reaction proceeds and is tapped off. Meanwhile, chlorine gas bubbles up from the anode into a separate vent. Here's the equation for the overall reaction. 